Alright, so listen. It has been recently announced that Farfetch'd is getting a new evolution in the upcoming Pokemon Sword and Shield games. But I'm sitting here thinking, Farfetch'd does not even need this. He is an absolute beast already, and uh, this man does not need any help. Uh, so we're going to be playing on PU, messing around on Showdown to see if we can get Farfetch'd to do anything. Obviously, I'm kidding. Uh, Farfetch'd has been overclassed by essentially any other flying type for like 20 years. But he is still kind of fun to mess around with. So uh, we're going to go through a little team recap here. And then I guess we'll get into some uh, some laddering on the PU tier. So first off, I, I could have a Life Orb and uh, the option of like a Choice Band on this thing. But I, I decided to go with the stick just because we got we got to toss this man a stick. What is a Farfetch'd without a leak? So we're going to mess around with that high crit ratio. Uh, that's going to be nice for, nice for both, both uh, Night Slash and Leaf Blade. I both already have high crit ratios anyway. Um, I don't know. I mean, we're going to have to probably get pretty lucky with this thing. We're, we're working with uh, 252 attack and speed with a Jolly Nature. Just going to try to outspeed as much as we possibly can. Uh, unfortunately, that's not a whole lot. But we could, we could get some good shenanigans with this thing. It was between Jolly or Adamant. I think we're going to probably be sticking with first impression a lot of the time. So we might switch to Adamant later on if we, we, we feel like we need it. But... That is our boy Chiding, and he is going to absolutely strike fear into our enemies. So, other than that, we have a special defense wall that is going to be Agron. Uh, we're just rocking 252 special defense and HP with a little bit of attack. Uh, pretty standard leftovers, Stealth Rock, Heavy Slam, Earthquake, and Thunder Wave. I put Thunder Wave on this just so that Chiding has a higher chance of being able to outspeed some stuff. Um, because it does actually have decent attack, and if we can get some crits, it, it, it could work. But we just need to be faster, so... Uh, next up, we have one of my favorite defensive walls. I really love playing with Quagsire. Uh, we're just going to be 252 defense and HP. Really standard um, <laughs> EV spreads on this team. We're just kind of, I made this relatively quick, quickly and just going to want to see if this could work. But, I mean, Quagsire doesn't need uh, much else than that. We are just rocking Earthquake, Toxic, Scald, and Recover. Next up, we have Manectric. So, we always need a fast uh, either U-turn or Volt Switch. So, I got Choice Specs on this thing. Uh, with a nice little volt switch and uh, Manectric does actually do really well uh, in my experience in PU. It's been a while, but I do like Manectric, pointy doggy. And next up we have the absolute legend herself, uh, the Frostitude. So we're working with uh, a life orb on this thing, essentially just 252 special attack and speed. Going to be timid nature to outspeed as much as possible and we're going to try to land some lovely kisses, so that should be fun. Uh, one thing to note is we actually do have uh, both Dry Skin on Jinx and Water Absorb for Quagsire, so I gotta remember that we have a lot of Water Switch-ins. And yeah, next up is Lurantis. I, I essentially just tossed this on the team uh, because I, I never really mess around with Lurantis too much. I wanted a, de a decent Defogger. Um, we're gonna be full defense and HP on this thing, uh, just because it's nice to have it stick around. Uh, if we can get like one Leaf Storm up, its special attack is looking pretty decent. But other than that, it was kind of just a, another bulky Mon to... To stick there, and we got that uh, we got that defog su support as well. So, without any further ado, we are going to go ahead and get into finding a, bat a match. All right, so we've got our first opponent here, and he's also working with an Agron. Going to expect that to be the lead. Um, looking at far-fetched opportunities, um, we could potentially. I don't think we can even live like an ice punch from <laughs> Hitmonchan, but. Uh, it's not looking too promising, but we're going to see what we can do for our, our ducky friend. Anyway, um, he's probably going to lead Agron. We could both end up leading Agron. I think I'm just going to go Manectric, get a nice little Specs Volt switch on whatever it decides to go for. Um, the Electros is kind of scary. I don't have a lot for that thing. These are I got I got to start remembering the sets that these things are working with because it's it's been a really long time since I've actually played... Uh, in any tier, but uh, I feel like getting used to the, the move sets is going to be one of the tougher parts. But we shall see how this goes. It's going to be a, a fun learning process for both of us. All right. Uh, so he's going to lead off with the Agron, which is fine. He's probably just going to get that Stealth Rock up. So we're just going to go ahead and Volt Switch on out of here. And that is going to knock it down to 15%. Pointy Doggo doing some damage. I could actually bring in Chiding real quick. I don't think I can even actually knock it out at that, <laughs> to be honest. Less Leaf Blade crits. Um, but, let's see. What should, what's my safest option here? He is probably going to have a switch into whatever. I could go Jinx. 
Uh, it doesn't look like he has a lot for... I could get um, a nice little lovely kiss going or... Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's go into Jinx. I think his best switch into this is probably Skun Tank. Let's go for a lovely kiss. See if we can get him to switch. I don't think I want to conserve this Aggron. Um, but if I do miss this lovely kiss, that is unfortunate. Actually, maybe maybe I don't. Fuck it. We're going right for the lovely kiss. This team is going to require a lot of a decent amount of luck. He's actually going to switch into the Electros. Okay, so we get the lovely kiss and we actually land it, which is nice. Why is he going? Uh, Electros on this thing. Uh, let's just go right for a nasty plat. We might have a, a little frostitude action early. That's the, that's the plan with this team. Getting frostitude to do stuff early and often. What is that? What is that on on Jinx? I've always noticed that. I'm so confused. Okay, uh, so he is gonna go skun tank now after a nasty plot. It's actually bad news for us because he probably is gonna have sucker punch, which I think we could live at least one of. But do I want? To heck with that. I think I just go right into Agron. We're gonna see what he's gonna go for here. Uh, he's actually just gonna Acid Spray. So that is interesting. All right, so it doesn't affect us, that's great. We can just go ahead and, I could go ahead and set up my own Stealth Rock, but that means I won't want to Defog later. That's why I prefer Rapid Spin over Defog, but this time we're switching up. Or I could just go right for the Thunder Wave. I think I'm gonna T-Wave here as he brings in the Frost Lot, so that's actually great. Uh, we get that thing nice and paralyzed. And uh, I could, you know, I'm just going to set up my own rocks here. I feel like that's going to be a little bit more beneficial for us. Although his team doesn't care about it too much. I guess the Frost Lass doesn't want to switch into rocks. Uh, but any damage we can get to help our little buddy Farfetch'd out is going to be is going to be useful. So it does get fully paired there, which is nice. And what is this thing going to want to do to me? Um, so I'm specially defensive. So that's looking good. I, I assume he's going to want to set up spikes. I think Frost Lass, that seems pretty, oh my god, it gets paralyzed twice in a row. And Heavy Slam's just going to knock your ass out. So, Curse Body's going to disable Heavy Slam. But, uh, interesting that he stayed in there. Did not expect. Alright, so now he goes into Hitmonchan. We do not have much for this. Um, I could just go into Quagsire. If this thing's a setup Hitmonchan, though, we're going to have... We're going to have a bad time. I think I'm just going to go right into Quagsire. Saving Agron seems useful. He's going to Drain Punch again. So, Quagsire takes that nicely. Um, I don't think he'll want to bring in Skuntank, because Skuntank doesn't have much to do to this thing. Um, he could just sack the Aggron here. We're going to go for a Toxic, as he's actually just going to Rapid Spin away the rocks. Rapid Spin Hitmonchan is in fact a thing. Okay, so at least we do get the Toxic off on it, though. Now it's just deciding what he's going to want to... What is he going to want to switch into here? Because I could just recover all day. He might just stay in. Um, let's just go for an EQ here. Ah, he's got, okay, he's going to bring in Electros. So... Levitating electric type is an asshole, but what could we, what should I go into here? Um, I could bring in Manectric with Lightning Rod. He's obviously not going to Volt Switch or anything, unless he predicts the switch. Hmm. I kind of want to get my Stealth Rock back up, but at this point now I could just Defog. Um, er, Lorantis is probably not the best. We haven't seen much from this, this Electros, actually. Um... Let's go, let's go into Lorantis here. Let's see if this thing's going to wake up. No, it's okay. Still asleep. Let's go ahead and set up a nice little defog. Blow away these rocks. I don't know how the hell Lorantis defogs, but that is interesting. Anyway, he's going to stay sleeping. He's probably going to be able to wake up this next turn. Um, let's just hit this thing with a Leaf Storm. And uh, not do much, but we do uh, since... Oh my god, he stays asleep. That lovely kiss is coming in clutch. To the contrary, helping us out there gives us a plus two. He says, bruh. He actually types. So, the sleep... He's really getting the best of this Electros, so he's going to wake up here. And there's a Flamethrower, so we can take that nicely. Obviously not nicely, but only does 60%, so that's pretty good. As a physical Lorantis, that's fine. Alright, well, we are just going to finish you with another Leaf Storm, unfortunately. Yep, now he's going to go into this gun tank. Okay, well, even <laughs> with the resistance, it's still going to do 80%. And that is insane. So this gun tank is actually really fast, 293 if it's uh, plus speed nature. Do I want to save Lorantis? Is it even useful at this point? It would be nice for a Toxic on Audino, but then Heal Bell shenanigans. I don't know if I even want to save this thing, to be honest. I could actually just switch easily into Quagsire. Let's do that. We don't want to sack anything unnecessary. He's actually going to go for a Z-move here. Black Hole Eclipse, so probably a bad move switching into Swagsire there, because it's going to knock me down to 1%. And that is a sad day. Oh, he tries to Sucker Punch as we get the Recover. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually a good match here, so that Recover was clutch. Could just easily... Why would you Sucker Punch there? You know you're faster than Quagsire. 
That, my friend, was a poor decision. Um, he does still have the Electros around, so I'm just going to Scald rather than Earthquake. As he goes into freaking Audino. And <laughs> Scald's going to do 11% damage to that thing, which is great. And um, I'm going to go into Jinx on this thing. Now we're free. Since he woke up, we're free to set something back to sleep. Tries to Encore, but fails. Now we can go ahead and Lovely Kiss you as it protects. Okay, why, why are you protecting? Obviously, we're going for the Lovely Kiss here. We're going again. This guy, this guy's probably going to Rage Quit because as we've seen already, he does not have a good time with the sleep. But we're probably also due for some misses here. It seems like I hit like one out of three Lovely Kisses, but hey, we actually get it. So not even bad. Now we can just go ahead and set up a Nasty Plot. Um, the thing is, yeah, we actually outspeed everything at this point. So it's actually looking like Jinx might have... Might have a good time. I wish we could get far fetched to do some more. But, uh, okay, now I go to the Hitmonchan. Mock Punch is the only option here, unless this thing's scarfed, which I highly doubt. We're just gonna click Psy Shock. What is this Mock? What is this Hitmonchan gonna do? Yep, Psy Shock's just gonna knock you out. So it's looking like Jinx is gonna get the spotlight, and he actually does forfeit. So that is, that is game number one. Far fetched was not able. To make much happen but he was on the team and he was there for the support so uh at least this is actually good for me because i'm getting kind of the feeling back of competitive matches so we'll go ahead and try to find another one here all right boys so we found ourselves another match here and this team is looking interesting we have the turdinator which is not something you see all that often um also he's got the gastrodon wall along with shuckle which is scary um, i'm also afraid of the dodrio so i kind of i mean i guess my team actually does well Seems like we have a decent matchup here. I don't, I don't know what he's going to want to lead. If he's going to go Shuckle for Sticky Web Stealth Rock, which is, I'm going to assume. Let's go ahead and lead Manectric, uh, as he is going to go ahead and lead you know, off with that Shuckle. So that's fine. We can get a nice little Volt Switch off here. And uh, we're not afraid of you, Noodle Rock boy. Just kidding. You got to always, you gotta always be afraid of this Shuckle, man. Let's get this money. All right. So he actually mentioned, "Hey, dude, huge fan. Good luck. Have fun." So yeah, he recognizes me from. Uh, the username, which is funny, because I'm probably Hayden. But doesn't mean doesn't mean I'm Hayden. I could I could not be. I said probably. All right. All right. So the Volt Switch does a clean 28%. Uh, we have a free switch into whatever we would like here. We could go to Ding. Should I go into the Far Fetched? I, I kind of want to use the Far Fetched against like the Leafeon would be kind of cool. The other than that though, there's really not a whole lot that this thing would be useful for. Um, let's go ahead and. I think Lorantis is not a bad move. Um, man. Let's go Jinx. I think Jinx is actually probably the best bet here as he sets up the Stealth Rock. That's fine. We now have a free chance to Lovely Kiss. So he's probably going to stay in here. I'm going to assume try to set up uh, the Sticky Web. But we're not really that afraid. We do have the Defog Lorantis. So we basically get a free switch. As now he's going to go into Gastrodon. So uh, we get that boy asleep. But it has a Lumberry and it wakes up. <laughs> so... Well, guess what? We're just going to lovely kiss you again. We are not afraid to kiss slugs. As we actually connect on it. Damn. So, we were able to let this thing waste its Lumberry, which is great because now it doesn't have leftovers. Um, I feel like the best bet here would be to start setting up Nasty Plots. Um, it seems like this team doesn't have much for Nasty Plot Jinx, to be honest. I mean, it has the Turdinator. Uh, but after a Nasty Plot does... Uh, you know what? I think we're actually going to play it safe. We're going to go into Lorantis here. Uh, we can scare this thing out with... Oh, Jesus. He predicts the Lorantis. He's going to go into Dodrio. So, uh, Dodrio is actually a good play because it does outspeed Jinx anyway. Okay, that's, that was bad. All right, it's fine. Uh, we got to expect... I'm honestly going to predict the U-turn here. If he made that play, he's probably going to go for the U-turn. So, we're going to try to defog. And he pursuits. So, interesting. He expected the switch. Uh, we're able to get a free defog, and that is great. So... Now, though, he's probably going to play it safe and just go right for some damage. So, let's go into Quagsar here. So, he is going to... I'm going to expect you turn, actually. Nope, just Brave Burn. Okay. Holy shit, that did 52%. So, this is... This is a scary Dodrio. Is my Quagsire not max defense up in this bitch? Jesus. See, that's why Dodrio is so scary. Hot damn. We're just going to go right for a Scald as he switch into Shuckle. He does want to get that freaking... Stealth Rock back up, which is not very good for us, but I here's where I kind of wish I had Swords Dance on, uh, on Farfetch'd, but 
I could just go right back into Jinx. Huh, what to do here? What to do? Because we can't really touch this Shuckle uh, with Quagsire. We could go for a Toxic, I guess. You know, I think Toxic might be a decent play. We're gonna have we're gonna have a struggle against this Shuckle, but we got the Toxic off, which is nice. Um, now, though, I don't know what he's gonna want to do. If he's gonna want to switch, um, Infestation is. An option here is this thing gonna be rest are you gonna be a rest shuckle the worst kind of shuckle ever do we bring in the chiding and try to crit it we're gonna bring we're bringing in the far-fetched fuck it this boy needs some game time okay he's gonna eat up he's rest resto chesto shuckle has uh <laughs> has come out okay well chiding this is the worst matchup possible for you buddy this is like the most defensive thing ever and uh this is scary. So, I'm just going to click Leaf Blade as he goes into the Gastrodon. Yes! The plays, though! <laughs> yeah. Far fetched. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> I figured that Shuggle doesn't have anything against Shading. So, the switch was pretty likely there, but going into Gastrodon was the absolute best case scenario, and you love to see it. So, now he brings in the Turdinator. Um,. I do not know what the hell these things do. What what are, what are Turdinators? You know, spiky shield me, bro? Like, I, hello? Just flamethrower, essentially. Are these generally just specs? Why? Man, okay. Well, let's go into Quagsire. Um, we do need to get rid of that Stealth Rock eventually, but... This thing's gonna sub. Oh, Jesus. Do these things set up on you? Draco Meteor, so we live that with 8%, uh, which is actually great. It has a white herb as well, so... It gets rid of that special attack drop, but now we do essentially just have to sack Quagsire. It wasn't all that useful because it can't take another attack from the Dodrio. And he's going to actually go into the Dodrio here. I should have scalded. Damn it. He saves the turt. And, uh, yeah, this is not good. We're going to try to recover. As I'm just going to Pursuit. We live it with eight. Yes! That boy Quagsire is not going down that easy. <laughs> Uh, so now we can actually Scald. I expected the Leafy on to come in at this point. Um, should I just try to Toxic? Or a Scald is probably a better play. If we can get the Leafy on to come in and get Scalded, that'd be great. Or Scald Burn. Uh, he's actually going to stay in and go for the Jump Kick here. Gets the crit, but now we can go ahead and Scald. And that's actually great for us because the Dodrio was a win condition. If he was able to knock down Aggron, um, Jump Kick would have been great. Oh, Jesus, I accidentally clicked Scald there. That could have been bad. This fucking thing, I have a feeling that this thing is gonna... It's gonna Sword Dance. I just know it. I can just feel it. Let's Toxic. Sword Dance Leafeon, it seems like that's pretty popular. Is he actually gonna double switch here and bring in the Shuckle, but we missed the Toxic. So we're gonna just Toxic again. That's fine. Okay, so we Toxic each other, um, but... And I'm still actually gonna recover here. I think if we can end this matchup with Quagsire at a decent amount of health, we're gonna have a good time. So now he's going to set up the Sticky Web, uh, which is fine because now we can just bring in the Lurantis. Um, ideally, we can just set up a Defog. And we do actually get the speed boost due to the Sticky Web. So this thing's going to go back to sleep. Uh, so Resting Shuckle is not a scary Shuckle. And now he's going to bring in the Turdinator. Okay. Uh, so we get the, the Defogs out. That is fantastic. Now, this Turdinator at... 188 we're actually at 189 if this thing is max speed we can actually outspeed it currently but uh, there's nothing that we want to do to it because obviously we only have leaf storm so we were able to kind of get that defiant working with that sticky web but not quite so yo this turdinator is actually a threat i should be taking this turdinator more seriously man um hmm. well then what do we want to go into here i guess our only option is just like quagsire if i could bring in manectric i can hit it hard with the specs t-bolt I think this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go into Quagsire here. Uh, luckily, I was able to get that. Oh, okay. He's going to sub again. So, whittling down the own, the own, own health is great. Uh, we're able to live a Draco Meteor. And then we can just knock the sub out with EQ. And he does have the special attack job now. So, it's a little bit less scary. And it seems like saving Quagsire was useful for us. Now, he's going to go into the Hitmonchan. Going to conserve that Turdinator. Um, we are actually... Gonna be able to live the toxic damage, which is great. So Hitmonchan is gonna be able to knock us out, but before we go down, we're gonna try to toxic it, but bullet punch, which was unnecessary because you know you faster anyway, boy. But that's fine. Okay. Now 
do I try to, to bring in the Chiding and just straight up go for the Savage Brave Bird? I don't think we can live in attack room with from Hitmonchan, though. That is my only issue. We need Chiding to do something, though. We can maybe get it to kill the Leafeon. Okay, well, I think our best bet here uh, is to just go right into Jinx. Because I think the only thing this thing could do to us is Bullet Punch. So we're just going to go right for the Psy Shock here. I could just Lovely Kiss. Um, but we do have a sleeping shuckle already, so we're just gonna side shock and That is gonna knock out the hitmon chance So now he gets a free switch into whatever he wants, but the team's looking great We still have far fetched around which is all we need uh, So now he's gonna bring in the turdinator. We are just going to side shock yet again I don't know if this thing's gonna have much for that. Okay. It's actually able to live it Does 41 now he's gonna shell smash. Oh sweet Jesus The turt is a threat <laughs> So he's going to get that boost, and uh, hot damn. The Shell Smash Turt might just ruin our day here. So the Flamethrower does knock us out. We do have priority with the Chiding. We have the first impression, but that's not going to be able to kill it, even with the defense drop. That's going to be that's gonna be bad. The Shell Smash Turtinator is about to ruin our day. Although, Manectric could still outspeed. What? It, uh, we're, going, we're going Chiding. We need this to happen. First impression. Crit it or something? Yes! <laughs> Farfetched with two KOs. The absolute legend. You love to see it. Alright. So now in comes the Shuckle. Uh, all that's left is the Leafeon as well after Shuckle. So, what we're going to do here is... I, I do want to save Jading for the Leafeon. Let's just go for a Leaf Blade. Screw it, man. We're going for crits. We do get the crit. And Shuckle's going to proceed to stay in here and sleep. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot that he can do. We're just critting again. That stick is coming in handy, boys. Would you look at that? <laughs> oh, my God. So crits every time. Don't rest again. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so it is going to be able to live it even if this is a crit. It does 23. It's going to be able to rest. And Shuckle is so annoying. We hate Shuckle. Ultra mega crit right here. Man, every time that was a crit. So he's going to rest. Okay. Well, heck. We're going to go into Manectric. Dude, this Shuckle is proving to be the biggest issue. It can literally stay in here and wait for Toxic to kill everything. <laughs> I was hoping that he wasn't going to click rest there, but I mean, obviously, that was, that, was, that was quite the obvious play. But with two left, this really doesn't seem like there's a whole lot he can do. Manectric, we need you to do your thing here, buddy. These Thunderbolts are going to be doing 33%, so... Maybe, well, depending on what roll that was. If that was a high roll, yeah, next one does 34. So he's going to get another Toxic off, but this should be able to kill. Don't live on one. Thank God it does knock it out. And uh, so now he goes into the Leafeon. And we are specced into T-Bolt here, but I think our best bet is to just click that. Um, it's going to do... Ooh, we even get the Parrot as well. Ooh, ooh. Hate to see it. You know what, then? We're going into Chijing. Bring in the Fetched. Leaf Blade lives it with 10. Poison knocks us down to four. Brave Bird for the win, boys. Farfetched. The legend. <laughs> we gotta tell that guy good game. He recognized the channel. Dude, thanks for the match. That was... We got it to work. Farfetched actually came in clutch there. It was not looking promising, but... Somehow it worked? I have no idea. Well, that was... Uh, that was an interesting one. Honestly, I'm having a whole lot of fun with this team. Farfetched seems really fun to use. Um, should we go? For, we're going for one more, boys. We're going for one more. Let's go ahead and find another one. All right, so we got another match here. And this guy's team is looking pretty standard. We got the Kecleon, though, which is interesting. Uh, but again, we are having to play against another Dodrio, so that thing's going to be scary. I'm probably going to expect the... He has a Manectric as well. He could just lead Manectric, too. This might be bad. I think our safest bet is just to lead Agron. Let's go for that. Set that timer, and we're just both going to Agron each other. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. So, you know what? I'm actually just going to switch into the Lorantis here. And if he decides to, he's going to taunt. So, interesting. You taunt Agron, huh? Okay. I see you, boy. Let's go for right for the Leaf Storm here. Or, do we, do we predict a switch? What would his switch be here? He could go Dodrio. Um... If I go into Quagsire, we still have a good matchup against the Agron. I think our best option here would be to try to try to make something happen. Um, let's go Quagsire. 
he's gonna switch into the Audino. So, Leaf Storm would not have done much to the Audino. Now we can just go right for a Toxic, as we're just gonna Toxic each other. And I missed mine. I missed my Toxic. I click, click, click the, uh, the fast forward there. But we missed our Toxic, which is stupid. And what the hell. So, that is not fun. Let's just go into... Man, it, I, I should have had a fighting move on this damn team. I'm going to try to Toxic again. He's going to try to Encore. So we do get the Toxic. He's probably just going to Heal Bell here. But our, my own Quagsire being poisoned is not the best. Let's go into Jinx. I think the best option here is to essentially just set up. Uh, it looks like Jinx has a great matchup other than against the Dudrio as he goes into Aggron. And he's probably just going to want to... Was trying to set up the Stealth Rock, but we're now we're going to Lovely Kiss. And since we missed the Toxic, we are able to hit the Lovely Kiss. And we're actually getting really lucky on Lovely Kisses today. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, so. Now we'll go back into Lorantis. Is this thing sleeping? Uh, we're going to take this opportunity to go ahead and set up some Leaf Storms. If, even if he does... Oh my god, he wakes up. So, Head Smash misses, though. That is Payback. And the Leaf Storm is going to knock it down to below half, which is great. But, uh... This thing is actually faster. Why is Lorantis so damn slow? You would think? This thing looks pretty quick, right? Am I tripping about that or what? Okay, we're just going to click Leaf Storm. We got that special attack boost. Um, we're just going to see what this dude wants to do here. He typed yo in the chat. I realize uh, that a lot of the time, right initially when they chat, it is too, uh, it's too far down. He misses another head smash. <laughs> My god. <laughs> you, hate, you hate to see it. I, I mean, I would have taken it relatively nicely because we are uh, we're pretty defensive. But hot damn. Okay, so it brings in the Manectric. I'm gonna assume this thing is Specs, but I think I can also live one Flamethrower from this thing. Non Mega Manectric. We're just gonna click Leaf Storm again. Flamethrower knocks us down to 42, and uh, we out here storming on these hoes. So that is great. And uh, down goes the pointy dog. Now we're sitting at the point where he probably is just going to go into Dodrio. But we were able to do enough damage with Lorantis that we're, I'm feeling feeling pretty comfortable here. I don't know what type of options we're going to be able to get for our boy Farfetch'd. But we're going to try our best. So he's sitting here thinking about it. Ends up going into the Dodrio. That is fine. Um, I could save the Lorantis if it seems like it would be useful. I don't think it really would be. We can try to get this thing to overpredict. We're just going to click Leaf Storm again as he knockoffs. Does go for the overprediction, and Leaf Storm's going to knock its ass out. So, Lorantis, with the defense investment, is looking to be helping us out here quite a bit. This Lorantis is the man. Max HP and defense after a couple, after a couple, leaf, couple Leaf Storms. It is fine. Okay, so Hitmonchan. Guess what, buddy? We're about to face the wrath of the Chidinger. So let's just click Brave Bird here. Um, and we'll see what happens. I assume this thing's going to have elemental punches, but okay, we're actually faster and Brave Bird's going to knock its ass right out. Yes. <laughs> Farfetched is OP, and this man did not need an evolution. He is going to forfeit because he's afraid of the Farfetch. So that was actually. That went way better than expected. We got Farfetch'd to do some stuff. Obviously, um, we got pretty lucky. But I had a fantastic time with this duck. I really enjoyed playing with Farfetch. So, <laughs> all right, guys. We are going to end the video here. Um, if you guys are into this type of showdown stuff, we could probably do some more videos because I'm having a good time with it, kind of getting my bearings back in competitive matches. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Also, I will love you forever if you use my G Fuel code Hayden for 10% off your entire order. There is a link in the description, and G Fuel does make you uh, have great predictions in Pokemon. So there's, there's a reason for you to buy it.